One of the most common questions I get from viewers of the channel is, how do I secure my web browser? How do you go about making your web browser more secure, more privacy oriented? Well, today I want to show you just four or five really quick and easy things you can do to Mozilla Firefox to make it a little bit more secure. I think most Firefox users think that their Mozilla web browser is already kind of secure and privacy oriented out of the box. After all, it's open source software rather than proprietary software, certainly compared to your other mainstream alternatives like Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Apple Safari. Yes, Firefox is certainly better for privacy and security, but why do people really trust Firefox more in terms of security and privacy rather than Chrome? Well, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that Firefox is free and open source software, so the code is freely available out there for anybody to inspect. Researchers have audited the Firefox code many, many times in its history. In contrast, proprietary browsers like Google Chrome and Apple Safari and the various Microsoft browsers, Internet Explorer, Edge, those are all proprietary software. No one can audit the code, so the very nature of those browsers being proprietary rather than open source, they're never going to be as secure out of the box as Firefox anyway. So I would strongly recommend if you're serious about security and privacy, you should use a free and open source browser like Firefox. Do not use proprietary software like Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge. And while we're on that subject, you probably should be using a free and open source operating system to run that free and open source browser. So if you're on an insecure operating system like Windows, then does it really matter how secure your web browser that's running on that operating system is? I'm just throwing that out there. Also want to mention that this video today, I'm not going to really talk about VPNs. Of course, you can use a VPN to browse the web and that kind of solves all your problems, right? But I'm going to ignore VPNs and instead show you how to make Firefox a more secure and privacy focused browser really by just disabling some of the settings in it and installing a few plugins. So let's start with the tracking protection that is built in to Firefox. So first of all, you want to make sure that tracking protection is enabled. So if you go to preferences and you go to privacy and security, and we're going to spend some time on the privacy and security tab in this video, but you see enhanced tracking protection. So trackers follow you around the internet and collect information, yada, yada, yada. Firefox blocks some of those trackers. And by default, it has some built-in standard tracking protection. Now, if you want to increase this, you can go down to strict and enable that. Now, when you enable the stricter tracking protection, it does warn you that that could break some websites because some websites, they have to track you, I guess, to properly serve you that website. I wouldn't visit those kinds of sites anyway, so I would probably turn on strict uh, tracking protection for myself, but for some people, you may just need to stick with the standard tracking protection. If you know, some of the sites you visit on a regular basis, you know, they may not play well with the strict setting. So either way, whether you go standard or strict, the next thing you really need to do is you need to go down here to the do not track setting. And this is where Firefox can send certain websites this warning, basically this advice saying, hey, this user does not want you to track them in any way. And hopefully the website respects that request. They may or may not, though. There's no law that a website has to comply to this. But there is absolutely no harm in ticking this on. So I definitely advise everyone that uses Firefox to tick on do not track as always. Now, the next thing we should talk about is telemetry. Now, Firefox does have some built in telemetry. Uh, and know that's going to scare some people, but it's they're collecting a little bit of user information, mainly to improve the performance of the browser. They tell you about this up front, but you can opt out of that telemetry. And you really should, because honestly, if you're worried about privacy, then allowing anybody to collect data about you is just a, a big turnoff, right? So let's go ahead and again, what you need to do is go into your preferences and go into the privacy and security tab. We're already there. And this time scroll down until you see 
Firefox data collection and use. And you see there are some things ticked on. These are all the defaults that are ticked on. Now, being a privacy focused kind of guy, I would tick all of these off. I would tick off allow Firefox to send technical data. I don't want them to send any information back to Mozilla. Allow Firefox to install and run studies. I'm going to tick that one off as well. There is the third one that was ticked off by default. It allows you to send crash reports to them. Again, if, if you want to send that stuff, that's fine. But again, if we are seriously concerned with privacy, we don't want to send any information to anybody, including Mozilla. And I trust Mozilla with my information, but still. The next thing you want to do, again, for privacy reasons, is our default search engine. Now, Firefox has switched its default search engine a couple of times in its history. I remember a few years ago they were using Bing, by default, Microsoft's Bing search engine. Recently, they changed back over to Google as the default search engine, probably for financial reasons. You know, they make more money uh, using Google, you know, in their product. But if you're really focused on privacy and security, neither Bing nor Google are acceptable choices. If privacy is a priority, you should not be using either Bing or Google. Thankfully, Firefox does offer DuckDuckGo as an option for its default search engine. So once again, you want to go into preferences and this time instead of privacy and security go into the search tab and you see default search engine it's set to google by default but if you click the drop down duck duck go is offered as an option and i would just change that that is you know like a 10 second fix again duck duck go is a privacy oriented search engine they don't track you at all they're not collecting information about the user where obviously you're putting your own life in Google's hands every time you use something like the Google search engine. So just changing some of those basic settings and preferences already, your browser is a little more secure and private. But the next thing I want you to do is I'm not a big plugin kind of guy. I don't install a million plugins in my browsers or in anything. I typically take things as they come. I don't try to extend them in crazy ways. But there are two plugins that you really need to have. So, so you need to go into the menu and go to add-ons. And you need to go into extensions. And there are two extensions that you absolutely need to have. The first one is uBlock Origin. Search for that. Now this is an ad blocker. It does a little more stuff than just ad blocking, but it's a fantastic ad blocker. It removes all that stuff. It's lightweight. It doesn't take up all your CPU and memory like some other ad blockers <laughs> that I've used in the past do. So uBlock Origin is just fantastic. It's probably one of the most popular extensions on Firefox, actually. Uh, they probably should just ship with it by default. So many people use uBlock Origin. And the second extension I want you guys to take a look at is one called Privacy Badger. Now, Privacy Badger is an anti-tracking extension. It is created by the EFF. Now, that is the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Privacy Badger also has some ad blocking capabilities built into it as well. But don't worry, uBlock Origin and Privacy Badger, they work just fine together. So no harm in using both of them. Again, Privacy Badger was created by the EFF, the Electronic Frontier Foundation. So by using this tool, actually, you are supporting the EFF. So even if you can't support them financially by using something like Privacy Badger, you are actually helping the EFF in their fight for privacy and for digital rights. And other than today's video, I also created a blog post securing the Firefox web browser. Just go to distrotube.com, go to the blog, and you will find that article. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. This episode was produced by Michael, Chris, DJ, Donnie, Dylan, George, Haplo, Nate, Lambda, Mitchell, Omri, Rob, Sean, and Willie. These guys, they are the producers of the show. Without these guys, you wouldn't know how to secure your Firefox web browser. You wouldn't know about it. The, these guys here, they're my top patrons over on Patreon. Again, without these guys, this show wouldn't be possible. This channel wouldn't be possible. This channel is also supported by all of these guys, too. This is the full list of my Patreon supporters here, that ever-growing list of names there. I want to thank each and every one of those guys. If you'd like to support my work, you'll find me at DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.